All right, so it's week four of Lightfall. You can go ahead and earn the title or the expansion, Virtual Fighter. You have pretty much forever until to earn this title. So there's no rush. There's no expiry date. So you can earn this at your own pace. From my, I, from my understanding, I think it's a three-day time gate. So you have to at least take three days of different days of playing. Unique three. Oh, not unique, but uh, on a rotation, three-day rotation for bosses for terminal overload other than that um seems to be that uh so these videos i like to do are very long and i have to go into detail of what you need to do for each one some of them i can't go into detail because it's like exotic quests i'll just link a video to watch that instead i'm not gonna explain that i'll take that video take, this video will take way, way too long if i go through every single exotic quest uh for this because you need to alterate new exotics for this uh collection this uh title here so there's that. So everything will be timestamped. If you have any more questions about things I missed, you can ask below. But everything I should be able to go over uh, hopefully in a way that you can understand and nothing too confusing, hopefully. Um, the one thing I'll probably be showing in the video at the end will be all the locations of the action figures that you need to find for the triumph for the title, all seven of them. So I'll go ahead and do that at the end of the video of all the, if, uh, showing everything there. So hopefully that helps. I, I would hope I do it right. Anyways, so that being said, let's get started with the first thing, which is going to be the collection. The collection is over here, Niramune Souvenirs. Basic knowledge here. So let's start off with the first thing. First thing is the ship, the foremost ship. The How do you go ahead and get this? We get this, you get the Niramuna Sightseeing Triumph. This one is probably going to be to take the longest out of all Triumphs. Um, I think so. You had to journey, and you can see it here is get earn a score of 1400. Now, if you don't raid, you're on, you're in the same boat as I am. Look how much score I got 1435 after playing for four weeks. Basically, that's the most I've gotten, right? If you play the strikes, uh, strikes the, the raid, this is this is just free triumph score, so you can get extra much more than I can get. So we do some of these then you'll get this this triumph ship this ship should be easy to get for sure for sure other than that let's go over some things right now so basically uh this does have kind of a daily or weekly kind of thing because uh these triumphs over here you get to, it's plus 15 which is a lot um but doing the weekly mission uh will give you plus 15 i only did three of them so i'm in three it's, it's only week four so uh, doing these missions to help a lot, right? And then uh, doing one on master, which you need to do eventually. Plus ten, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's see what else we got. Doing terminal overload, uh, patrols. A lot of patrols. Do a lot of patrols. And defeat vex. Do all partitions, which is important. But this takes three weeks, though. Technically, so for twenty-five points. So this might be like super useful if you don't raid then this is something you need a lot but it takes three weeks this uh this takes three days to get uh and then this i'll talk about later uh let's see what else we got the big ones will be like strand ones get all those done secrets get those done uh quests yeah, these are all exotic quests. Yeah, it's mainly just look at the, look at the ones I've finished and try to do those ones as well. Probably these uh, Lost Sector ones, which I haven't done before yet. Probably wouldn't be that bad. Possibly this one, 30 points is pretty nice. I didn't zero this. I'd probably go for this for sure. Neptune Champions. Try that one. So that, that, it, it's just a, a, a collection of if you don't raid, then you're going to struggle a little bit. You, you get the, just, you, you're going to wait weeks and stuff. But for, if you do raids, you should be able to get this done a bit much easier. That's the benefit of that, for sure, for sure. All right, that is just for the ship, though. That's one triumph for a ship, which you need for this. Then we have the shader. The shader is in the rank rewards for Nimbus. It's like rank 25 or 24, one of those ones. Um, You should get this done passively. I would think you do need to get max rank for one of the triumphs for the title. So... The farm, uh, if the farm rep, uh, he mainly just do a lot of patrols and 
doing terminal overload with the cheese if, I, if, if they don't fix it i don't know if they're going to fix it or not if you don't have the terminal overload uh cheese it's when you finish terminal overload there's two chests one chest for the uh key the overload key and then the second chest which is a roller loot every time you claim that chest it's plus 100 rep so what you do is you want to go ahead you might see other people do it too if all of them uh since terminal overload rotates daily uh, you want to make sure, remember, what spots you can leave uh, the instance for that area. So you want to drive your Sparrow to a new instance, either if it's like in uh, Zephyr Concourse, for example. Uh, the chest is like, uh, chest is like, I'd say like over here. You want to drive your Sparrow like over here until you see you're going to uh, Limming Harbor and then just go back to where the chest has to collect Clement again. You can do like two times in rotation you get at least 300 rip and keep redoing that over and over again and you go ahead and get that rep done yes that's how you grind that and that's for the shader then we have this one is uh sanctuary of nephila nephil whatever i don't know why i said that it's just the emblem this is for beating legendary campaign uh it is difficult but practice makes perfect finish all missions on legendary and you'll get that emblem at the end of that triumph there Uh, lastly, we have this. It's 50 terminal chests. This can be skipped with cheese with the chests. Every time we do the cheese, it's like plus four, plus plus five per run. So it only is like 10 or 10 or 12 terminal overloads and you get this done. So it's pretty quick and very easy to do terminal overload nowadays. So this is very easy. And then the rest, uh, we have the uh, armor set, which is from uh, Nimbus's... Um, Bender, rep, uh, at least rank 28 to get everything. Then we have Winter Bite, Final Warning, and Termin this is all the exotics. And then the weapons are the same thing. Uh, doing the campaign gives you these. And then uh, the submachine gun, which is this one, the machine gun. And is it the shotgun? I don't know. Either one. Those ones, they rotate daily, and you get them more often, or mainly from... Uh, doing the terminal overload chest and you can do the cheese as well and get them as well so you need to do that at least three days it takes to, to finish that for the most part now let's go ahead and do the triumph so that's the collection you need to get that done i have everything done for that for virtual fighter here we have unfinished business this is the exotic quest you get the, at the end of the campaign from nimbus uh i'll link a video uh, I mean, it's not, it's not nothing too complicated, but I'll link a video and explain everything for that. Then we have, uh, this is the winter, what's it called again? Winter Bite. Yeah, Winter Bite Exotic Quest Line. So this is, I'll have a link for that as well, uh, for the Exotic Quest Line, explaining everything. That one takes at least three days to finish. So I'll have the video there for that. As also after the campaign, then we have complete partition in seven within seven minutes. Um, partition rotates uh, week, uh, yeah, weekly, which is this one over here. Um, I think the easiest, in my opinion, is the hard reset, and then the one after this one, the next week, that one's pretty easy too, for seven minutes. Uh, but all you need to do is just beat it as fast as possible. Um, in order to get access to this, you have to do. Um, from from zero to hero quest line from nimbus and once you do that you're able to buy the uh weekly bounty from nimbus which is this one over here and once you once you buy this bounty you can go ahead and once you finish you get the shell code and that will let you access the uh partition um and to get shell code fa fragments you want to go to a vex incursion area like this and defeat enemies using strand and then once you do that you want to do a terminal overload and open the chest at the end and then that will get you the bounty done then do the partition blah blah, blah. take some practice but you can only do it three times a week unless you have some sort of friend that would host it for you and you can join them even though you don't have a shell code pretty much so that's one way to do it but yeah you gotta practice three you get three times three tranches per week don't mess it up then after that we have um master of survival 
complete campaign mission on mass difficulty. Uh, there's been some cheeses for some missions. It does rotate weekly. It does take a bit of patience and practice. Master is difficult, but there's no match game and there's like overcharged machine gun and like there's like other perks. That if you follow and look what the surges are, you can do a lot more damage. Everything just does more damage or uh, what do you call it? Damage. Everything has more health a little bit. And there's champions as well, but Strand is pretty strong with champions just using the suspend grenade. But I can find LFG or whatever. I did it with a duo. Um, and there's no, there's no, uh, what do you call it? No res tokens. So you don't have to worry about um, dying too much. As long as somebody like hides in a corner and you just com com complete the activity, there is that. They're like, there's a cheese for breakneck, but that's to get away for rotation for that. But there might be more cheeses in the future. I don't know any, I don't know all of them. It just hasn't been out yet. So master is hard, but you can do it anyways claim all rank rewards from nimbus so that's rank 30. uh like i've said earlier in the video to cheese this uh you have to do the terminal overload cheese by finishing terminal overload and then driving your sparrow quickly to a new transmat zone from here to here pair the chest from here to here go again or at his park is this way and then back this way and then back I think it's that way. And then Lemming Harbor, it's actually going towards radio and doing like that. Or you could drive from here to here. And then you have the chest over and over again. And then the rep is 100 plus. Unless they, unless they fix this, well, I don't think I'm going to fix it. But that's how you get rank 30. Other than that, you do patrols, do other stuff. And you can do that too. And this one's the same thing. As I just explained, terminal treasures, you get open up 50 chests in total. Uh, and you can get at least four or five per run in terminal overload by doing the cheese, by going the chest back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It all adds up together, pretty much. That's that. Now we have this quest here before, the dolls one. We have the final strand. The final strand uh, is just the exotic quest for the uh, sidearm. You have to go ahead and buy every single strand upgrade on one character. I forget how much that is, like 2,500 or 3,000, something like that it's less than 3000 but you have to buy you have to you can't hold 1500 you can't hold more than 1500 strand meditations so as soon as you get all of the upgrades you can go ahead and pick up the quest down here and i'll have uh, did i make a video about this i don't think i did i i have a stream but you can watch this i'll link the stream i guess other than that um that is all of that um there's no ah uh, what's, what's a good way to farm this uh um so one good way to farm this is terminal overload the chests give a lot other than that there is one thing that was recent after the raid finished you were able to find these things called apogees apogees whatever you call it and each time you destroyed one it gave plus 25 so you're able to get like 1.1k. I do have a video of that. I never made it public, but I actually do have a video of it. I actually don't know if I do. I think I do, but if not, I'll link somebody else's video. It was 39 in total. And yeah, I have a video of it. Uh, 39 in total. And uh, you can find them using the video. Hopefully, I don't know. How, I, I didn't like it that much, so I didn't upload it. So I made it public. But yeah, if you finish those, all those triumphs, and that also helps with the ship as well for the collections. Uh, what triumphs are there? They are these triumphs here. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, secrets. All these over here. The uh, repeaters. And then you get like plus 10 each. So I would look for that. And that gives you a good amount of strand, strand annotations. Remember, just remember, you can't hold more than 1500 or you won't. You'll be capped out. Uh, that's for sure. Now. Now we're at the final part, which is these these dolls here. The dolls, the dolls, the dolls, the dolls. These are the hidden collectibles that came out every week. Now you get them all in one week if you want to. Um, in my opinion, before we start, uh, it is more fun to do it yourself without any hints or help at all. Because it's just, it, it, I mean, not hints. But I mean, there's hint, the hint, using the hint in game and then going to the area and doing it for yourself. But if you're having trouble, then I'll explain each and show what you need to do. For each one i don't know why i went to lemming harbor so in order to see uh these uh what do you call it 
uh, these hints, you want to go ahead and you need to go there anyways to input and put them back into the area. It is going to be down here in Strider's Gate. And you want to head inside the room or building over here. And all the action figures, you want to just walk over them and you'll see a objective marker and when you look it will tell you an area and a little bit of a hint to where to go so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all locations here and how to get them all it's pretty fun but like i said i recommend doing it by yourself other than that here we go the first one we're going to go for is in ahimsa park uh it is in the middle building under the first staircase pretty much Let's show you guys how this goes here if you have uh rank 30 in the vendor then you will have a little bit of an objective marker to when you're near the collectible, pretty much. So in this area over here in the middle building, under uh, the stairs here, not this one. It is the one uh, at the front, basically. You can see the little marker on the right hand side. Kind of pass by there it is see that marker that would help a lot a little bit unless you're watching the video then you don't need the help obviously so there's that so you go ahead and collect that and that will be your first one or one of them at least the first two week ones are a little bit interesting but let's do uh the next one all right next one we're gonna go for is the uh the icala complex this is the one with the turret the three turrets um so you want to head through zephyr concourse through the green tunnel Heading towards, I think it's SI Terminal, but instead of going SI Terminal, you're going to take a left, yep, into the other hallway. This is the mission where you have to go and grapple onto the Thresher. Um, you want to take the portal instead, and you don't need to traverse through the buildings again. Uh, so, or call out the complex to take the uh, uh, darkness portal, whatever they're called, I don't know. So, on top of these turrets here it is recommended to have like some sort of scout rifle you want to go ahead and stand at the tip and look forward and you should see a flying black pyramid object uh, pretty much so for example like this they will spawn in it's difficult with an auto rifle but do that for all three of them and then you'll get the uh action figure just over there pretty much Here we go. Hard to see. And then we have the next one over here. The last one on fire. A bit easier to see this one. Close. And there we go. Go back to the uh, the base of this turret. Oh, not the base. It's actually right in front of me right there. I'm blind. Legit. Anyways. Pick that up. And then you're a second one of the video. This one, we're going to head to the Zephyr Concourse at the Juice Bar on the map over here. You want to go ahead and activate uh, the Juice Bar. And you're going to go ahead and defend the bar from thirsty patrons. Uh, you cannot leave the bar and you cannot let them get near the bar. So we're going to have a nice hard-hitting weapon. And just make sure to get to the end. It is pretty long and it's easy to mess up for sure. But you cannot leave. You can do other people as well. Just make sure they activate it at the same time. Um, and you can join in and help other people if they're struggling with this. But uh, it shouldn't be that hard. It's just make sure you're looking at your radar. Run in circles. And once you get to the end, you'll get the uh, doll at the end here. Which, which is like kind of the ending of what you're going to deal with at the end here. Just uh, rampaging Patreon here at the end. And then get your secret. The, uh, where you just started and that is the third doll third action figure you can get now we're going to head to mayo's retreat in lemming harbor uh so you're going to head to the lemming harbor and then you head to the right here and this is where you can go ahead and grab the action figure this is the, th the three flames for the three caves i speed this up so heading towards the main bridge you want to head to the left side and you can see here Inside this first cave, you want to go ahead and light the bonfire here. Then head back where you came from and head to the main bridge on the right side. And get the last two flames. Activate both the flames and you go ahead and grab the doll and Maya's retreat. So 
two caves up here. I recommend from the top and then go from the bottom. It's much easier to traverse so to get the fire at the very back over here. Like so. Claim this and then head back to the right side to get to the last cave, the third cave, to light the fire. And you'll be uh, good to go and get the secret just like that. And it's the doll there. And then heading back to Lemming Harbor. We're going to go for the one at the desk. So we're going to head to the main building over here. And go ahead and interact with the desk. Similar to the juice bar that we did earlier in the video. You have to go ahead and defend the doors here. So making sure none of these uh, customers uh, will come. So you can't leave the desk and or not, or not customers intruders like yeah so they're going to spawn on the outside there'll be a bunch of fanatics there'll be goblins hop goblins and minotaurs eventually just make sure you survive like I said, you can't leave and yeah so that's pretty much it the gist of it just survive and don't let them pass the doors basically especially have a nice hard hitting weapon a machine gun is pretty nice of course just make sure that uh you know just get them all fast as possible and be very quick because they are pretty tanky <laughs> and annoying to deal with uh and that's for sure especially the hobgoblins eventually they are very annoying sometimes something might spawn in front of you like this stupid hydra that pops up in front of us for no apparent reason because of just normal spawns to distract you of course and near the end you have like minotaurs and then at that end at that point you're close to the end and you go ahead and collect the uh is this the fifth fourth fifth I don't remember we're on. The fifth doll? I don't know. I already forgot the number. So now we're heading to Zephyr Concourse. And we're going to head to SI Turbo. You could have, eh, I don't know. You could have done this one first before the uh, Icala Complex. But eh, I mean, there's no real order. This is just the order of when these were found. But not really a route to which ones are the better ones to go for. So up to you how you make your own route by looking at all the locations if you want to. But uh, you can do this, obviously, when you're heading towards Arcala Complex. So SI Terminal, we're going to go and take a left here. You want to go to the cafeteria or like restaurant, I guess you could say. More like pretty much. So into the restaurant, which is down the path to the right and take a left. Not, in, not going towards Arcala Complex. And you want to head into the back room over here to the left. And you should see a sink over here, basically. So interact with the sink. And then you want to go ahead and grab the dishes and put them into the sink. So the balloons, you can melee lunge if you want to to go faster. And put all five of them five of them into the sink. Just got to go ahead and dodge the two chefs and the head chefs outside, which will chase you around. I think they're immune. I'm not sure, but I decided to shoot them anyway. So there's three more plates outside. Do them as fast as possible. There's no time limits, but just make sure you don't die. I think that's the, yeah, they're immune. Anyways, uh, you just can't be, uh, you just can't die, I think, for this mission here. And that is for that doll there. Make sure to pick up your secrets uh, or the doll at the sink. And then that is that one. Now, I'm going to be a bit risky here. Instead of making, doing the recording of how I, when I finish the Strider one, Charter's Gate, you can go ahead and do a shooter shooting, shooting, puzzle shooting range kind of thing. You can do multiple people if you want to. Um, if people are struggling, you can actually help them as well by doing the uh, puzzle. But uh, actually, I can't draw this. Hang on a minute. Never mind. I guess since you've done it one time, you can't do it unless somebody comes here that doesn't have the progress and you can help them out. But I can't do it again. So I'll have to watch or play the video I did for this one here. Okay. So activate it at the vending machines here. I was Dead Man's Tail for this one. Uh, so follow the path here. Um, sometimes the explosives can fly off the map and be, and that's just an L right there. But as fast as, fast as you can, uh, these those things you can shoot early if you want to. You don't have to. You don't, you don't need to wait for them. They do expire after a while, so that's used to refresh your timer on the top over there. Those little pyramids that spawn in. But uh, eh, you don't need to. If you go fast enough, you don't need it. But I can see this be hard on a console for sure. I didn't, it took me like 40 minutes to beat because I couldn't find the last ones to shoot. It was hell. I hated this. I hated this one so much. I hated doing this. Is it hearing my voice? I hate it. 
Let's just spawn the right building. Shoot that down below in the middle. One and shoot the timer. Two and then to the left there on the left building. Hard to tell, but they're there. Then over there, and that's it. Um, yeah. Then oh, and the one in the middle there as well. I missed 20 times. There you go. That's it. That is. Fire's Gate thingy. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. Anyways, next up, we have two more to go. We're going to be heading to the Radio Sound uh, area. I'm assuming you know how to get here. This is from the Breakneck mission. We have to go ahead and uh, go to like the heart of the Ark. Uh, what it was called? The Ark. The, 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 whatever. You know what I mean. Anyways. So this is the room, the engine room, the heart of Radio Sonda. Uh, honestly, look, you might, I don't have a big brain here, but I don't know how to solve this. I just brute forced it. So here's my proof. You gotta, it's like a, some of them use these symbols at the top. I don't understand it that much, but when you shoot uh, the correct one, it'll pop up and then you shoot the next one. It's just sort of an order, right? So I don't know if the order is the same for everybody, but here's my order that I have, but I just brute forced it. It's not hard to do anyways. So, so here is my order. Uh, left, right, up, first, I don't know what, that's my order, uh, other than that, yeah, I don't know, I just, that's my solution, I'm not sure if it's the same for everybody else, but that's what I got, lastly, we're gonna head to Typhoon's Imperator, which is in Ahimsa Park, so lastly, we're gonna head to the Coliseum, so it's at the very end of the area, so just take, take, take the portals, head into this area, we're gonna head to the right platform, raised platform, I'm gonna go ahead and interact with the bull here to tribute uh, a, a, a thing. All I need to do is be fast. A little time trial here with these uh, beacons of flame. Beacons of flame burn swiftly, which means that it doesn't last forever. So you gotta go fast and doing this. Not that fast. It could take some time, but it's eh, maybe like a minute you have to do this full thing, but it should be hard to follow. When you collect it, it does like a little bit of a hint to where it's going to go next. But I just watch the video. Just going around, going around the map and then dropping down. And then that's the last one over here. For the doll. And that's it. That's all nine dolls. I'm not counting. How much are there in total? I don't even know. What is it? Yeah, nine dolls in total. So there we go. That is it, and that's the title. I hope I didn't miss anything. It's a pretty long video. Only reason why it's long is these the last part here, but the rest is pretty simple. Like I said, about three days to get everything, unless you can't raid or I don't know, don't want to grind for three days. Like we, I mean, we have four weeks or three weeks of game time, so uh, we have a lot of time spent already in this expansion, and that's pretty much it. So just don't forget to put your dolls back onto the areas you picked them up at. And then you're uh, good to go, pretty much. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And that's the uh, the title, pretty much. That's it. Very nice.